One of the greatest boxers in Kenya's history was Robert Wangila Napuni. Uh, I wanted us to study his, uh, his case where there was clash of traditions and why the court found uh, what they found. It is a good study in uh, different traditions and also how the judicial officers are very wise to such cases. Robert Wangila Napuni's mother was uh, called Elizabeth Mora. She got married to a kisi called Mabeche. Benson Mabeche. Their marriage did not last. But according to African tradition and African mode, Benson Mabeche went to Mora's home and paid dowry. When he paid dowry, they stayed and they disagreed. Uh, Elizabeth Mora then left Kisi and went and stayed in Eastlands, Nairobi. When she stayed in Eastlands, Nairobi, she entered into a liaison with a man from Busia. I cannot recall his name. Uh, he, she got mar she got into a liaison with him, and they gave birth to a boy who was called Robert Wangil Wangira. You know, among the lawyers, we have the names Wangira and Wangila. Now, it depends on which sub-tribe you come from, and that is why you find some use R and others use L. So the boy was named as uh, Wang Robert Wangila, and in his clan, he was closely related to another boxer, called Napuni. So that is why he was called uh, Robert Wangila Napuni. All the three names were his real name. Uh, as a Chokora, <clears throat> you know Chokora boys live the hard way. Definitely he ended up being a boxer. He was employed by Kenya breweries where he rose up and became uh, an international boxer. Actually, uh, during the 1988 Seoul Olympics, he won for Kenya a silver medal. During those days, uh, professional boxing was not there in Kenya, or it had just started. But being a silver medalist, Wangira went to the US. But before I continue, you know, Wangira had two pass, had two identity cards. We cannot explain further because he is dead. If he were alive, he would even be convicted for double registration. Nowadays, things are so much developed that if you try to take a second ID, it will show that you already registered and another ID. Wangila had two identity cards. You know among the kisses there is a name called Angira. So in one ID he had uh, recorded that is Robert Angira from Kisi Land. And the other one he had used Robert Wangira or is it Wangila? Robert Wangila from Busia. Uh, people, they say that poverty is an orphan. Richness, you have a million parents. If today you are successful, uh, everybody will try to associate your, uh, himself or herself with you. But if you fail in life, everybody will run away from you. So after uh, joining professional boxing, he had passed his uh, 
peak point and he was going down the drain. Uh, down the drain means the life was very expensive for him in the US. He could not afford life. And uh, you see, for you to fight a professional boxing, you are supposed to spend some time waiting for another bout. But since, waiting for another bout, but since he had uh, gone down, he fought a lot of these small, small fights for just for the upkeep. So that one also affected him because concussions, regular concussions, was not good for his health. So when he died, before he died, he had converted into Islam. When he died, people from Busia, you see, both people from Kisi and Busia had neglected him. That is why he was a Chokora. But now he was dead and everybody wanted him. Uh, Kisis wanted to bury him in Kisiland so that they can get his million dollars. And uh, Luhias wanted to bury him in Busia because they wanted his million dollars. But when he died, he had died a pauper. But the importance of my recording is the comparison of the two, two traditions. And we are told that uh, down here we have uh, the traditions, then we have the law, then we have the constitution. So anything, your tradition, so long as it goes against the law, it is null and void. But I want us to study this case file to see how the good judge handled the case. First of all, Kisi, Luhias were right according to the Luhia tradition. In Luhia tradition, the father of the child is the biological father. We did not have this thing called DNA. But nowadays there is DNA. Even if you have been bringing up your child, he reaches 30 years, and then suddenly a DNA is conducted and the real father is identified. According to Luhia tradition, you cease being a parent, you forget the, the, the expenses you spend on the child. Maybe you'll just be annoyed with the mother, but uh, according to Luhia, I, even right now, in my 60s, if, I, if a child is brought and uh, DNA proves that that child is mine, uh, the child uh, deletes everything about his or her life before that day and becomes my child. According to Luya is the biological lineage that is important. But according to Kisi, uh, when, a, when, when a girl gets married according to the Kisi tradition, the person who pays the dowry, even after different... Now, the Kisis never at any time said that they were biological fathers of Robert Wangila. No. They said that when the mother, uh, Benson Mabeche, paid the dowry for the mother, and according to Kisi, any child that the, she gets belongs to Benson Mabeche. And according to Kisi, if you marry a lady, you have to ask her people whether any, any other man has paid the dowry. If no man has paid the dowry, then you can pay. But if a man has ever paid dowry, then let them arrange for the man to withdraw his dowry, then you pay on your own. So for any man living with a kissy woman, and he has not made any investigation as to whether any other person has paid dowry or not, any time she dies or any time her children become of age, it doesn't matter how whether they are U.S. biological or anything, according to Kisi, the, the person who pays the dowry is the father. Now, for a judge, there is, the, the Kisi and Luhia traditions are equal before the law. 
none is superior to each other. But the judge had to make a Solomonic wisdom. Remember, being made a judicial officer is not a matter of learning law or anything. Wisdom comes in. Now, here is where wisdom came to this judicial officer. He discovered that uh, towards the end of his death, Robert Wangila had converted into Islam. So, he said that by law, uh, the child is a child of the biological person. Those days there were no DNA, but both Kisses and Luhia did not dispute as who is the biological father. It was known that the biological father was from Busia. So they said Wangila is a Luhia according to the law because law goes with who is the biological person, father. And then in order to be neutral, the judicial officer ruled that since he had converted into Islam, the Muslim faith should bury him within 24 hours at Karyoko Muslim uh, Cemetery. I say this and I recorded this to show that uh, our judicial officers are very wise. And for you, to, if, you are, if you want to become a judicial officer, wisdom should come first.